Hi guys, it's Ben Heath, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to retarget website visitors with Facebook ads, how to take the people that have already visited your website and put ads in front of them on Facebook and Instagram. And if you are advertising on Facebook and Instagram, using the website retargeting functionality, being able to retarget people that have visited your website is an absolute no brainer. These people are far more likely to purchase, become a lead, whatever it is you're after, than people who haven't visited your website before. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. So I'm in a practice Facebook ad account here. And before we get into the steps of creating the custom audience and then specifically targeting your website visitors on Facebook, you first need to make sure that you've got the Facebook pixel set up, okay? So you need to be able to jump over to Events Manager like I'm just doing and see that you've got some, let me just get rid of the pop-up, you've got some activity down here. And even though this is a practice ad account, we've got this set up on a website of ours that we use for demonstration purposes called Ordogo, so we're all good to go. If you do have the Facebook pixel installed, fantastic, we can crack on. If you don't, um, I've got another video that shows you exactly how to set up and install the Facebook Pixel in a lot of detail, goes through the step-by-step -step process. Um, I'll include a link to that video in the description of this one, or there'll be a card that pops up as I'm saying this. You can just click on that, check that video out, and then come back here once you've got the Facebook Pixel installed on your website to go through the process of creating the custom audience and, and setting this up and all that sort of stuff, okay? So once we've got this, uh, once you've got the Pixel set up, you wanna go ahead and jump over into audiences. In order to retarget your website visitors on Facebook, we first need to create a custom audience from those website visitors. So that's that's step number one. So you come in here, you, you may or may not have stuff in here already, don't need to worry about any of that. You want to go ahead and click on create audience and custom audience. And then you can see there's lots of different types of custom audiences. And I'm gonna be focusing in this video on website visitor custom audiences, because that's what this video is all about. But I've got other videos around all sorts of other custom audiences. So I'll include a link in the video description below. You can check those out and go through things like video viewer custom audience, stuff like that, if you would like. So you want to go ahead and click on website and then select next. And now you can see that the default that Facebook sort of pushes you towards is to create a custom audience out of all website visitors. So everyone that's visited your website over the last 30 days, that's the retention period. I would recommend that when you're getting started, the first time you start retargeting website visitors with Facebook ads, you increase the retention period from 30 to the maximum allowable, which is 180 days. And that's because that's gonna contain the largest possible audience, the most website visitors you can possibly get into this custom audience. In general, Facebook ad campaigns perform better with larger audiences and we know these are good prospects, right? We know these are good people to advertise to. They're highly likely to convert. Therefore, we want to advertise to as many of them as possible. Someone who visited your website, let's say 40 days ago, is still more likely to convert than someone that's never visited at all. So we want to increase as much as possible. I would also recommend that when you're getting started, you do go with all website visitors. You don't um, get more specific. I'm going to show you some of the options in a second. Again, that's the largest possible website retargeting audience. And that's what we want. Once you've perhaps played around with this, got some results, want to be more specific, you can absolutely come in and go, for example, and create audiences of people who visited specific pages. Let's say you advertise lots of different types of products. Maybe you just want to advertise people, a certain product to people that have visited pages on that product or vice versa with services. You can get really creative with this stuff. Perhaps you only want to retarget people that have gone to certain pages on your website that's a step deeper, like they come through to your homepage and they have to click through to other stuff and you only want to retarget them. You can do those sort of things. You can also um, retarget visitors by time spent. So if I click on this example, you can see that we can do the top 25% by time spent. We can do the top 10% by time spent, top 5% by time spent and all that sort of stuff. So there's lots of things that you can have a play around with here. You can even use events. You could only retarget people that have, for example, added to cart if you've got that set up. Um, in your in your events, you'll find out more about that in the in the pixel video. You could only retarget people that have become a lead, but let's say not yet gone on to hire you for your services. This will depend on your business, but there's lots of functionality in and around that. Again, I've got um, videos in more depth on custom audiences you can check out in the video description. But for this one, to get started with, to start by retargeting website visitors, we're gonna go with all website visitors and we're gonna go with 180 day retention. Okay. Then we just want to give this audience a name. So I would often call this something like uh, website visitors 180. That just helps me know what um, this audience is when I'm gonna come and check it out later on and use it. Then we want to click create audience. 
You don't have to worry about this for now. These are other things like lookalike audiences and stuff. Again, I've got videos on those. Just check out my YouTube channel if you're interested in that sort of stuff. I'm going to click done. Then we've got our uh, website visitors 180, which is fantastic. Then what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into Ads Manager. And I'm going to show you how to use this in an actual Facebook uh, campaign. So once we're in Ads Manager, we click on this green plus create button. I'm going to go with the conversions objective for demonstration purposes because the majority of the campaigns I run are conversion campaigns. They, they, they usually produce the best results. Then I'm not going to focus on any of the other settings here. That's stuff that you can certainly um, find out more information on my channel around all the various settings that's available. But you want to come to the ad set level and then you want to scroll down and it's in this custom audiences section. So we would then want to pop in uh, website visitors, which comes up there, which is fantastic. And then Facebook's actually just popped up a little reminder, something that I want to, uh, to talk about. And then, but this ad set here is set up to retarget anyone who's visited our website within the last 180 days. The other criteria that you add in here um, operate as an and function. So at the moment I'm targeting anyone who's visited my website within the last 180 days, who also is in the UK, is aged 18 to 65 plus, um, and I haven't got any other detailed targeting criteria in. So what I usually recommend is that you leave this as open as you possibly can. So go with 18, 65 plus, go with all genders. Don't add in any detailed targeting criteria. If I was to come in here now and sort of add in, I don't know, people interested in social media, for example, which is obviously something somewhat related to my, uh, to my industry. If I was to add that in, that's going to reduce the size of my website visitor audience because they're now going to have to be have visited website and also interested in social media so unless you have just enormous volumes of website visitors it's not something that i would uh, i would recommend i'd leave all this open and again countries locations that's just got the uk by default because that's where i'm located but we get website visitors from uh, all sorts of different countries so i would certainly be adding in other locations like the us like canada australia most of europe other places where we get a lot of website traffic and we get a lot of website traffic from India and, and, and places like that, right? Basically the English speaking countries. So when you've got this custom audience added, added in, don't add in any other targeting options. Um, that's by far the best way to go. Now, one thing I want to quickly mention is what's Facebook's popped up here around the iOS 14.5 release. So Apple have made it much more difficult for Facebook to be able to track people that are on iOS devices that have iOS 14.5 or later, so that's going to be most iPhones, iPads, um, that made it much more difficult for Facebook to be able to track those people and their activity on your website. So let's say six months ago, 12 months ago, we were able to track just about everyone that visited your website. Not quite, you never get 100% perfect traffic just about everyone. Now, unfortunately, the majority of people that are on iOS devices, iPhones, iPads, they're not going to be included in your website visitor custom audience, and therefore you're not going to be able to retarget them. You don't miss out on everyone. Obviously, those are people that haven't opted out of being tracked. Um, you also get some data through if people go on to purchase, for example, and purchase your highest priority of web event in aggregated event measurement. Again, more details on that in my pixel setup video. So I check that out if that's a bit confusing for you. Um, but that's there's nothing you can do about that. That's just the way things operate right now. It doesn't mean you don't want to advertise to website visitors. You absolutely still want to advertise to website visitors. You absolutely still want to target website visitors on Facebook because they're going to be some of your best performing audiences. And if, you know, let's say 12 months ago, you would have had 10,000 people in the audience. Now you might have 7,000, 7,500. It's still well worth targeting. OK, um, it's another good reason why you want to make your website visitor custom audience as large as possible, because you can help um, counteract some of that lost data by making it as large as possible. So nice long retention periods All website visitors is the way to go, in my opinion. OK, so hopefully that's been useful. A couple of things I want to quickly mention before you go. The first is a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. Now, a link to this free webinar is in the video description below. It is a webinar where I show you exactly how to work out which strategy you should be using for your products and services. That's why there's three options, because there's no one size fits all with Facebook advertising. There are some things everyone should do, like retargeting website visitors. But in terms of the rest of your sales funnel structure, you need to have the right setup 
for your business. A $10,000 service needs to be advertised in a different way to a $30 e-commerce product, right? So that shows you exactly how to do that. It's completely free, 60 minutes or so. I'd strongly recommend you check it out. I think you'd be very glad that you did. Other thing I want to mention is our Facebook advertising services. So my company, Lead Guru, is a specialist Facebook and Instagram advertising agency. We create, manage, and optimize Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns for our clients. So if you want better results and you want someone else to, to handle the workload, we can certainly do that for you. Now, we do require that clients have a 3K per month minimum budget. But if you meet that requirement, you can click on a link in the video description below, go through to our website and book a call with one of my team members where we can just, no obligation, of course, we can just find out if we'd be a good fit, if you can find out more about our services, how we charge, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get a chance to work together. If this video has been useful, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below. I get to most of the comments on my channel. At least I try to. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Of course, I release Facebook and Instagram advertising related content multiple times per week. If that's what you're into, if that's something that's important for you and your business going forward, then I strongly recommend you subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now.